Hi all, welcome back to another video. While creating a new project in the Odo project module, you can split the project into different tasks and subtasks. By doing so, you can systemize the activities related to the project in an organized manner and it reduces the work pressure. This will also help the assigned employees to complete the project step by step in an easier method so the project manager can smoothly manage the project by dividing them into task and subtask. So you can effortlessly manage the task of a project in Odoo by assigning them in different stages. So here in this video, we can discuss about how to assign task and subtask in the Odoo 15 project module. So here in the dashboard, we can see the project that I have created before. Likewise, we can create new project before that goes to the configuration settings and make ensure that the option subtask has enabled so it, it it is to split your task to organize your work into sub milestone so here i am already enabled the feature so we can go back to the project to create new project so while clicking the create icon we will get a pop-up window like this and here we can provide the name for the project And here we can activate the features like billable timesheet planning and worksheet. And here we have the option to provide a email ID. So it is to create task by sending an email to this particular email. So uh, we can click on create icon. So after clicking, we will directly go to a new window and here we can provide uh, the stages for the project. So here we have the option to see the example. So while clicking on it, we can see some of the Kanban examples like software development, digital marketing. So the stages will appear here. So uh, while clicking on this, uh, use this for my project, it will appear in this window. Or if simply we can create the stages. okay now uh, I have created the stages and now we can create the task for that click on create and here we can provide the title for the task and click on add So here we can see the name of the task and here we can see the project and also can say the assign is name. And here in the customer field, we can choose the customer. So after choosing the customer, a new field will appear that is sales order item and it is auto allocated. And here we can set the plan date. And also here we can provide the deadline and here we can provide the tags and also here we can activate the recurrent field so while activating this we will get a tab uh, tab that is recurrence so here uh, we can see some of the tabs like uh, description timesheet subtask block by and recurrence so here in the description field you can uh, provide a description for the task and here we can see that it is a collaborative pad. So we can discuss more about collaborative pad in another video. So let's skip to the timesheet. So after creating a task, you can record the time spent on the task. So such recorded time can be seen under the timesheet tab. So here we can set the initial planned hours.
and while clicking on the add a line option we can provide the date employees and here we can provide the description and here we can set the hour spent So here we can see the progress and also here we can see the remaining hours. Or else you can uh, track the time by clicking on the start, uh, start, icon, uh, start icon here. So here we can see the timer is going and here we have the option to pause it. So after completing the project you can click on the stop. So here we can see the duration and here we can describe your activity. So it will appear here. And here we have the subtask. So uh, using this tab we can divide the task into subtask. So it helps to organize the activities of a task in a systematic way. So while clicking on the add a line, we can provide the title, assign his name, and here we can set the deadline, stage, uh, etc. So here we can provide the title. So after providing all the details here we have the option to view the task and also here we can see the option to remove the task. Here we can add the list of the tasks that you want to block. So while clicking on the add a line uh, we will get the window from here we can choose the task that need to be blocked. Here we have the recurrence tab so it will appear only after enabling the recurrent option in this creation form. So here we can select the days on which you, we want to repeat the current task. So here we can see the days. So the order will display the details of the next occurrences in this tab according to the selected days. And here we can choose the for our end date or the number of repetitions in the until field. So after providing all the details, we can save this. So using the Odo project module, you can systematically organize all the project by splitting them into task and subtask with the help of efficient tools. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.